Welcome back to One Verse. Today we have Todd Hostetler, the pastor at City on a Hill Teaching Center. We also have Jeff Milslegel, a teacher at City on a Hill, and they are here to discuss a Bible verse at random. And gentlemen, I'm going to have Todd go first. So Todd, this is a New Testament verse. It is 2 Corinthians 10.4. And that reads, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. So that's 2 Corinthians 10, 4. Awesome. I'm going to read this from the Amplified Bible. It's not going to sound a whole lot different, but uh, I always love looking at things from the Amplified Bible. Uh, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of the flesh and blood, but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. You know, as long as we live in this life, there are strongholds uh, that are here. As soon as you're born, we are born into the into this fallen world, uh, into the flesh. And so there are strongholds that we just walk into as soon as we enter into this life. And as we go through life, especially the years we go through life before Jesus, we bring strongholds upon ourselves. We bring upon ourselves things that uh, just constrain us. We give openings to the enemy. And those strongholds are the things that through Jesus Christ, we can destroy those strongholds. Um, if you know certain people that maybe uh, you know, let me give you an example. Um, so I know a family, actually very close to my family through a relationship where there was alcoholism. And so that alcoholism was continually a part of that family. It's a stronghold that was taken. And that stronghold can consume a family from generation to generation. This is telling us that in Jesus Christ, we have freedom from those strongholds and the weapons of our warfare. You know, I, I'm not denigrating the things that the world gives us. For example, I'm not denigrating uh, what, is the, what is the Alcoholics Anonymous. You know, there's, there's wonderful things that men do, but it is the spiritual warfare. It's the weapons, the spiritual weapons that we have. That's what gives us the strength to overcome. So when it says the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood, I'm not going to overcome these things in my own strength and my own ability. It is when I look at these things and I attack them through the word of God and through faith in Jesus Christ and I speak those things. And you know, even Don and I, even today, my wife Don and I, we even said, Satan, take your hand off this in this situation, because we understand that these are the spiritual weapons of warfare. We don't put our trust in, in the things of the flesh or the things of men. We trust in the power of the word and the things that Jesus has already done for us. So this is a powerful, powerful verse that we see before us. Um, again, it ends by saying, these things are mighty in God to overthrow and to destroy strongholds. What are the strongholds in your life? What are the things that are before you that you feel like you can just never overcome? Those things have you in bondage. Throw those shackles off today, whatever they might be. This verse is telling you, you have the authority in Jesus Christ. So you find the verse that overcomes, or just say, in the authority of Jesus' name, this stronghold ends in my life. I will not be bound by it in the authority of Jesus' name. And as you speak those things and say those things, you will see the freedom and liberty that comes to you through Jesus Christ. It is powerful, powerful words from Paul in 2 Corinthians. Jeff, what are your insights and takes on this? Here, here is a great example of why it's really, um, I was going to say fun, and it is, but it's helpful to look at a verse in multiple versions. So um, I'm, I'm going to read this again from in a New King James Version, and I'm going to use another one and show you something about this. Okay, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. I don't know about you, but carnal is not a word that I use very much. In fact, I'm trying to think of an example where I'm trying to use that word, and I really can't really think of one. But I'm going to pull over here an ESV. It's an English Standard Version. And I'm going to read this verse in that and see if this clicks a little better for you. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh. That's what carnal means. Are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. I totally agree with everything that what the, what the, what Todd was saying there. See, see, the point is the weapons that we have, we, we tend to want to attack spiritual issues from a um, from a no, using non-spiritual weapons. In other words, we want to look at it by as as the ESV here says, uh, weapons of the flesh. Here, that's kind of what we look at. And you think about that. You get you get you get angry. 
Uh, you maybe you get very emotional and driven about something like that, and you're going to attack that way. But his thing here is the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh. It's not something that you that you on your own power of your own ability and do and i totally agree with todd about that doesn't mean that we can't use things of the world to help us whether it is aa or anything else hey if my car's breaking down i'm going to go to a a, a, a you know a mechanic not necessarily a pastor as much as a pastor todd i am not going to go to him for some uh you know how to fix brakes or something okay so so that's not what we're talking about we are talking about spiritual oppression we, we have to look at this from a different standpoint. And so when he says the weapons of our warfare are not of flesh, because, man, I'm really glad it's not, because I'm rather, you know, I'm weak and I'm, I'm getting older and I got a little bit of a conch on my, you know, on my belly there. I'm not the best, uh, best shape. So I, I don't want to fight on my own spirit, own, own flesh. I want to deal with the weapons of God because they are of divine power. That's above anything I can think of. It's above anything I can do. But we have divine power to destroy strongholds. If we're going to make progress in our life, spiritual progress, we can't do it on the own things that we can think about and do. And even whether the people are telling us, we have to get the divine power that comes from the one who is the source of all power. That's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, Todd, what do you got there for us? Go ahead and wrap this thing up. Well, I'm just going to build off what uh, you just said, Jeff, and uh, kind of emphasize this point. Um, we can either operate in the flesh or we can operate in the power of the spirit. And we're going to get the results that come with that. If you try to fight spiritual warfare in the power of the flesh, you're going to fail every time. Mm -hmm. If you try to wage war in the spiritual realm in your own strength, you're going to fall short. You have to fight spiritual battles and spiritual warfare with spiritual strength and spiritual power. That comes from the word of God, and it comes through your personal relationship with Jesus Christ and the, and the words in faith that you speak. We must battle spiritual battles, not in the flesh. This is exactly what Peter did. We see other examples. They tried to do it in their flesh, and they failed. Mm -hmm. Peter picked up the sword, and he failed. We have to fight spiritual battles and spiritual strength. That's what Paul is telling us. It's a great revelation and a great truth and powerful for us. Hey, thanks for joining us. Always a joy to share the Word of God. We'll see you next time on One Verse. Mm -hmm.